Um, up next, we have Sean Keegan from Postman. His discussion will be on exploring intergalactic APIs with Postman. It's a bit of um, a workshop, so it's to teach you all how to use APIs, and we'll get the opportunity to use some um, open data and um, NASA data. So in this presentation, we'll learn a little bit about the fundamentals of API by getting hands-on with Postman. You'll learn why web APIs are the glue that holds everything together on the web. We will walk through different, well, Sean will walk through different HTTP methods and see how each method allows you to retrieve and update information in your web application. Together, we'll all explore some of NASA's vast data sets using their public APIs. Um, so this session will definitely provide you with the tools to delve deeper um, on your own and leverage the APIs to build your own web applications. We're hoping that some individuals who may not have felt comfortable joining our hackathon this weekend will learn a lot from this presentation and bring these tools with them to participate this weekend. So um, with that, I'll turn it over to Sean Keegan. Thank you for um, presenting today. Cool. Thanks so much, Dominique. Can you hear me okay? Yes. Fantastic. Yeah. Hey, everyone. Uh, fantastic intro. I really, really appreciate it. Um, so I'm excited to, to be speaking and to have this opportunity to talk to y'all about uh, APIs. And if you don't know what that is or what the heck I'm talking about, no worries. We will cover all of that. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. So give me just a sec. Uh, let's go full screen. OK. And Dominic, can I just get a quick confirmation that you can see my screen here? Yes, all clear. Okay, awesome, cool, thanks so much. Um, yeah, all right, so um, the name of this talk is Exploring Intergalactic APIs with Postman. Uh, so hopefully, you know, if none of this makes sense, if you're not sure what APIs are, if you're not sure what Postman is, um, no worries, stay with me. Um, I promise we'll cover all that. And hopefully when you leave today, you'll have an idea of how to you know, explore APIs on your own. Um, so that said, uh, my name is Sean Keegan. I am a developer advocate at Postman. Uh, and what that means is I really, I think I have a very cool job. I get to speak at events like this, um, teach people about Postman, teach people about APIs, um, and really just make that process, you know, hopefully more accessible for people um, give people the tools to explore APIs on their own. Um, I get to do cool things in the community, talk with various partners and see how they're using Postman and what they're up to with APIs um, and bring that information back to my team so we can kind of make the API space uh, better for everybody. Um, so quite a fun job. Uh, if you're interested in Postman or you're interested in developer advocacy, certainly reach out on Twitter. Um, I always love chatting about this stuff. So here's the agenda for today. We'll start, like I said, with a, an introduction to APIs. So if you're not familiar with what they are, um, stay with me, we'll cover that. Uh, then we'll go through API basics walkthrough. So we'll get you started so that you know what, what an API is and how you can go ahead and start um, playing around with them. Then we'll explore the NASA and other space related APIs. So that's where I think it's gonna be really fun. Um, NASA has so much data and it really is accessible to, to us through APIs. Um, and so I think it'll be cool to see how we can use Postman to go ahead and explore some of those data sets. Then I'll talk briefly about some other resources to, to get you started on your own. Uh, and then we'll leave some time at the end, certainly for some Q&A. And I am keeping an eye on um, the chat. So, or, you know, and if Dominique wants to let me know if any questions come up throughout, uh, feel free and I'm happy to answer on the fly as well. Here are our learning objectives. So if you stick with me to the end, um, at the end of the session, you'll be able to explain what an API is. Uh, you'll be able to use Postman as an API client to make requests. Um, and this, I think, will make a little bit more sense as we go through. But, but really, you know, we're going to use Postman to help us you know, ask NASA for data and get it back. That's really what that means. Um, find relevant APIs in the Postman public network. Uh, what that means is there's, there's all sorts of APIs available that you can find excuse me, within Postman. Uh, and we'll figure out how you can go ahead and find those. Then we're gonna inspect API responses for useful info, right? So we're gonna ask NASA or another API for information, and we're gonna be able to make sense of what it sends back to us. And lastly, you know, familiarizing ourselves with API documentation so that we can make you know, more specific requests to get the information that we're looking for. All right, so let's start with what is Postman. 
Uh, so Postman uh, is an API collaboration platform used by more than 17 million users. And if I had to summarize it in a sentence, I would say that Postman helps people work with APIs more efficiently. Um, and you can kind of see a flywheel here that talks about you know, different parts of the API process. Um, right? So whether you want to test an API, document it, uh, monitor, and we're not going to go into some of these other features, but it really allows you to do just about everything with APIs and the full life cycle of APIs. Now let's talk about an intro to APIs. Um, so yeah, I've said this phrase a ton, right? If you're not sure what I'm talking about, um, this, is the, this is the slide for you. Um, an API, it stands for Application Programming Interface. Um, and what that is, is it's, it's a tool or a piece of software that provides access to data and services. Um, and so what I can think about it, right, is if I were building a, you know, I, I live in New York City. So if I was building like a super fan page for New York City, um, I would want various bits of information on that page. I would want, you know, maybe the weather, events that were taking place in New York, um, a map of New York City. And rather than myself going out and like every minute taking the temperature and going back and updating my site manually, um, that's like not a scalable or fun process to do. Um, but websites like weather.com or Weather Underground, they have this data accessible and they do that better than I'll ever be able to do it by going out with my own thermometer. And so through the power of APIs, I would be able to essentially ask weather.com for their information on the weather, get that information and use it on my you know, New York City website. Um, and so that's like a very crude example of how you can use an API and what, you know, what it's for. Um, but it's that idea of you know, requesting information and getting data. Um, so the next thing to talk about is a client. And so this is the website or mobile app that makes requests to API endpoints. Um, and so we'll be using Postman as the client for this example, for this workshop. Um, and really all that means is we're gonna use Postman to help us say like, hey, weather.com or hey, NASA, uh, I want this information. And once it sends it back, Postman will help us you know, inspect that response and see what it gave it to us. Um, so the goal for today, we're gonna do just some very basic um, API walkthroughs with a, custom, a demo customer API. Um, and then we'll look at some more fun ones, including some NASA related ones. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead into the demo section. Um, so if you're following along now, um, you can either go ahead and just kind of watch what I do and take it in that way. Um, but I'll try to make sure it goes at a pace with instructions that if you did wanna follow along and, and kind of go side by side with what I'm doing, that you'll be able to do that. And so the first thing you'll need to do is you'll need to have uh, a Postman account to do all this stuff. Um, and so, here are kind of like the, the prerequisites for following along. You have to create a Postman account and sign in. Um, and then the next step is downloading and installing the Postman desktop agent. Uh, and all that is, is, it just allows us to, do, to use Postman in the web um, to do the request and make the request that we want. And then lastly is going to the public workspace. And I'm going to go ahead and share links to these right now. So whoop, give me just a sec here. I have lost my <laughs> display thing. So um, I'm going to go here. And this is ultimately the web page we're going to go to. And I'll send you the link to get here. It is just one sec. I'm going to send it over in the Zoom chat. So if Somebody could go ahead and, and pass that along to the rest of the groups. Dominique, if you could send that to everybody, that would be awesome. Um, and so that will take you to this page here, this um, Exploring Intergalactic APIs workspace. And this is where we're going to do the majority of our work today, or where we're going to see the you know, majority of what we're looking to get into. Um, and if you're not familiar with Postman, this is a workspace is kind of the you know container or area where all things related for a specific purpose are going to live. Um, in this case, I created this workspace specifically for um, this workshop. And you know, right now, just familiarizing ourselves, this main page right here is going to be our overview of the workspace. And it talks about this sp specific workshop, has information on getting started, has information on additional resources, and um, encourages people to get involved and, and contribute if you like. Um, so it looks like Dominique has passed along the information. So again, if you want to go here, um, go to this 
uh, public workspace site and go ahead and, and create an account or log in and you'll be able to follow along with everything I'm doing. So the next thing to point out is we have collections and what collections are is just a group of requests for an API. Um, and if that sounds kind of wordy, I will, let me unfurl one of these, right? So API 101, that's the name of a collection. And these are all of the requests specific to this API. Let me take a quick sip. My delicious seltzer and get back into it. So um, for API 101, this is going to be how we kind of first introduce or first look at APIs and what they are. And this is just a very basic sample one. So for me, um, this public workspace exists and I'm not part of it. Um, so what I can do is I actually want to take this, this collection, this API 101. And if I click it and look at this documentation tag here, this gives us information on what this collection is. So this is an API 101 template for learning API request basics. Um, and to go ahead and actually use this, and if you're following along at home, this is something that you would want to do. Um, you're going to click this fork button here. And I'm zoomed in, otherwise it would say fork. And if I collapse this, I think it'll say fork. Um, and what this means is I'm going to just kind of create a local copy and, and a local version that I'm able to uh, mess around with. Um, so let's go ahead and call this um, stream fork. And I'm going to back up a tiny bit because if you're not familiar with this or you wanted to, you know, have it in a clean workspace, um, I have to fork this into a workspace. And I have quite a few here that I've already done before, but say I wanted to have something specific, I can come up here to workspaces on the top, click new workspace. And I'm actually doing this step so that if you're following along at home and you want to have a workspace specific for your, you know, uh, workshop, you can call it, you know, workshop practice. And I'm going to keep it as a team workspace and I'm going to create the workspace. So what happens now is that actually takes us to this new work, uh, this new workspace that I created. And you might be wondering, well, what, what happened to the, you know, other workspace that I was looking at with all the space themed stuff. Um, and that's where the search bar up here comes into play. It's very helpful. Um, you can just go back to the link that Dominique shared, but let's make use of the search. So I remember that it was called exploring intergalactic APIs. And if I just type exploring, we can see that it pops up in the search. So I'm going to go back to that workspace here. And this will allow me now, so now I can fork that collection that I was looking at this API 101 into the new workspace that I just created. So let's click fork. I'll say stream fork. And I just called this one workshop practice. So that's what I'm going to fork it into. All right. So that workflow allows me to copy that collection from the public workspace into my own workspace that I can work with. So now we're going to kind of see you sending a request and getting information back. And that's kind of how APIs work. So let's look at the first request. That's what the documentation says. Um, just open the first request and hit send. So I'll click get all customers. And now let's familiarize ourselves with the UI here. So this top pane is going to be all things associated with the request that we're about to send. So I'm going to send a get request. That's the HTTP verb. Um, we're going to send it to this address here by clicking this blue send button. And Postman handles all of the you know, formatting of this and it tells the server, you know, we're gonna send information, send the request to this um, endpoint. And I click this blue send button. And this might take a little bit because Glitch has been having some problems, the, the website where the API is hosted. Um, but if you're following along at home, hopefully you can just click that send button and you see down here in this bottom pane, we have you know, what we call our response. And so this is, the, excuse me, this is the information that comes back from the server. So you know, Postman helped us say, hey, API 101 glitched at me. Um, I wanna get the information that you have available at this endpoint. It went, ping the server, and then it came back down here and we got this information um, on, you know, this is just a sample API, but this is customer info here. Um, so this is the response that it sent us. If I wanted to go ahead and, you know, just get one customer, you know, now we introduce this idea of a variable. Um, and a variable is just gonna be something that we reuse in Postman. It uses this double curly brace notation 
And you can see it's still that API 101, uh, same URL as if I were to go back here, right? But now I've just replaced it with this reusable chunk of um, information. And so if I click send again, this is going to go ahead. So now it's a more specific request and saying, hey, I actually want, instead of all the customers, I want the customer that has the ID of one. And what Postman does pretty easily for us is that it handles, you know, formatting of these requests and sending specific information to the server. Um, and if I were to check this or uncheck it, you can see that it populates in that query up there. Um, so that's kind of basics of API 101, but we're here to learn about kind of cooler space themed ones. So, you know, if you want to go through and, and do the rest of this API on your own, like feel free, you can certainly fork the collection. Um, highly encourage people to fork it, especially if you're not familiar with APIs. Um, it's a great API for, for just learning the basics and getting to explore. But what I'm going to do is let's now go back to the um, intergalactic APIs that we were working on. And like I said, let's look at a little bit more exciting um, APIs. So if I scroll this over, um, so I put all these APIs in here for us to explore. Um, let's go ahead and get started with this NASA astronomy picture of the day. This is actually one of NASA's more popular APIs. Um, and again, if we think about what an API is, it, it's just going to be a, a tool that allows us to get all this information you know, from NASA or from wherever we're trying to get it from. So let's click this and it unfurls the documentation here on the right. And we see, get your NASA API key here. If you're not sure what, NASA, where, what an API key is, it's just a kind of a, a thing that associates your account with you, right? So if I make a request, an API key says like, all right, this is Sean that's making that request. Um, so what's really cool is this endpoint allows us to get either like a random picture from NASA or once for a specific day. Um, so let's go ahead and look at this. So, you know, here is the actual request, but you'll notice I can't click send, it's grayed out because Again, I have to go through that workflow of forking this collection. So highly recommend. Now we're getting to the cool stuff. So I would fork this collection. So same idea here. It looks like some people already did fork it, which is awesome. Um, so you're getting ahead of us, which is sweet. Um, let's go ahead and fork it. I'm going to click this fork button. I'm going to, again, just call it stream fork and pull it into that same workspace that I was working on before. Um, and this is going to take me to that workspace. And now I can kind of work on it from here. Um, oh, <laughs> I actually forked it into, yeah. But let's say, so this is where we are, um, which I've already done this workflow before, but let's just say this was the first time. Now I have this request. I'm saying, all right, Nessa, I want this information for the picture of the day for September 13th, 2019. I'm gonna click send. And we run into an error, but it's not too bad. Like this is, this is okay, um, right? We have the status code of 403 forbidden. I'll zoom in a bit so we can see this a bit clearer. Um, all this means is that we need an API key, which is that thing I talked about before. And you can see if I were to hover, hover over this, we see that's an unresolved variable. Um, and that just means that the, we don't have an API key entered here. So this is going to be kind of our first taste of API authorization and using API keys. So let's go back and look at the collection documentation. Right, so I just click the collection and it says, get your NASA API key here. So I'm going to go ahead and open this tab. So when I open this, right, the very first thing it tells us is here's how you generate an API key. So I'm going to go ahead and just go through this um, flow here. And it's going to show my API key, which is, you know, not great practice, but for this stream, I'll just, you know, void the key after. Um, so let's sign up. And NASA is super easy. It gives you the API key right off the bat. So I'm just going to copy this because this is the information that I need. And now let's go back to our actual request. I want to request the information for September 13th. Um, you know, so now what I'm going to do is I want to make sure I use this value API key. Um, I'm going to get a little bit advanced here. I'm going to make this um, a variable and I'm going to do it in an environment. Um, so that way I can reuse it. So I'm going to go to this environments tab here, create environment. 
And I remember that it was called API key and I'm gonna save it in my current value. Make sure you click the save button if you're following along. Okay, so now when I come back here, um, it still says that it's unresolved, which, oh, and because right now I don't have the environment active, so I'm going to come up here uh, and click this new environment. And let's just call this the NASA environment. I'll, it's already automatically saved when I change the name. And I'll click this little check so that it's active. Here. And so before this was the issue that we had, right? No API key valid. If I hover over this, we can see that it does indeed evaluate to a value. Um, so let's go ahead and click send. It's gonna take a second. What it's doing right now is it's taking all this information that we just sent in our request, sending it over to the NASA API, and they're validating whether or not you know, this API key is okay. And if these requests all you know, are formatted in a way that makes sense to them, and they can send us back you know, this information on you know, the picture of the day for that date. Um, and so we have a question that I'll look at in just a second. But you know, here's our response, and here's all the information that comes back for this day. And if I were to click this URL, What's kind of cool is it opens up a new tab here in Postman and I can click send and I'll get the actual picture, which is really cool. Um, so one of the questions we have is someone wants to know, uh, can you share API keys or do you need your own? Highly encourage you to, to keep your own API key. Um, it's, it's not good practice to, to share it. Um, you know, a lot of APIs will be pretty specific and say that it has to be, you know, specific to just a single user. Um, so that way, you know, it, it also limits the amount of like nefarious potential activity that could take place. So very much recommend keeping your API key to yourself. Um, and so I know we're, you know, I want I want to make sure I leave some time for questions, but I want to show you another cool thing and just make sure that we understand kind of how we can look at some, you know, documentation to make, you know, more specific requests. So let's go to this browse API steps. Now I'm on the NASA documentation page. I'm working with the astronomy picture of the day. So I'm going to unfurl this and here's the information on it. And if I scroll down a little bit, we can see, right, this is that get request, the base URL. Um, let's say I didn't want it for a specific date. I wanted, um, you know, a randomly chosen images and I can, I can control how many I get. So it says here, it cannot be used with date, start date or end date. So let's go back now and say, all right, we know we can't have date, but what I can do is I can say, I want the count to be five. And by unchecking this, watch up here as I check it, right, date was added. And then by unchecking it, the date is removed from the query params. So Postman handles that and make sure that the request goes through as expected. So I'll click send again, and you'll see now, right? This is the response. It's formatted in JSON for us, which is just, you know, it actually comes back like this. It's just a huge old blob. Um, but if Postman recognizes that it's JSON from the response, uh, it can format it and give us, you know, five different objects. So here's one from April 23rd, 2018. Here's one from uh, 2008, and we get all this information and so if I were building my own website about, you know, NASA or space, I could go ahead and make a request for, you know, five. If I wanted to make it 10 images and click send, I could do this and get, you know, new pictures every time with these URLs. And so it's pretty cool, pretty neat. These are very basic examples, but, you know, hopefully you're, you can kind of get the idea of, you know, how powerful or how useful APIs can be. Um, and Postman just happens to be an API client that allows you to, you know, test APIs and, and check out some of the functionality. Um, but APIs themselves are, are quite interesting, quite powerful, um, and there's a lot you can do with them. So we, we've kind of only just scratched the surface. I want to make sure I leave time for, for chats. But again, if you're, uh, for questions rather, um, but if you are interested um, in exploring more, there are quite a few space related APIs in this workspace. Uh, this, this collection here has a bunch of 
NASA APIs that you can check out. So definitely fork this collection. That SAIT API key will be super valuable and helpful um, in um, you know, just exploring all the various things and, and Postman will make it quite easy for you. So happy to take some questions. Um, I know I ran through that pretty quick. So you know, if there were questions, definitely you know, let me know um, here or you know, get in touch with me on Twitter and I'm happy to, to answer as much as I possibly can for everybody. Thank you for that presentation, Sean. I was learning a lot and I was trying to follow along as well um, because I do know that trying to work with APIs without um, a medium like this is actually kind of challenging. I would always miss like a sans mark or a question or not format it properly and just spend hours trying to debug figuring it out. Um, other than that, can you tell us some of the other ways that, you know, Postman enhances the experience when people are trying to integrate APIs into their um, their projects? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. That's a great question. Um, and like you said, I think, you know, if people are trying to explore APIs on their own, there are quite a few ways you can do it. Um, you know, there's curl commands, which are basically doing a lot of the same stuff that we did in Postman, but just from a command line. Um, and Dominique, like you were saying, that can get really challenging. You could miss, you know, a, a quotation somewhere. You could, you know, not understand the parameters. Like, authorization gets quite tricky. <clears throat> and so, you know, what, what Postman is, is really helpful with is kind of taking care of some of the finer points and, and places where you can make errors in a kind of neatly, you know, presented tool. Um, so for example, right, I was, you know, I added the count, I changed the count from five to 10. And all I had to do was, you know, change that number from five to 10. I didn't have to like totally redo you know, the request, I didn't have to copy and paste a ton of stuff and hope that that all worked out. Um, you know, a, a tool like Postman, a tool like Postman just makes it, you know, much more convenient to kind of work with, um, you know, sending API requests and inspecting the responses. That sounds amazing. We do have another question that was um, Hannah, who said that she thinks the picture from NASA was cool that popped up. Um, and she wanted to know, is there anything further we can do with it other than seeing it within the Postman API? So what's the next step after you gather this API? Yeah, yeah, so great question. I, you know, I, it's tough to kind of showcase the full power of APIs, you know, in a, in a 20, 25 minute window. Um, but yeah, I mean, some next steps could be Right, you know, we were exploring the NASA API just to kind of see what was out there, what the picture of the day API looked like and how it behaved, what it said back to us. And so say I was building, instead of like, you know, Sean's New York City fan club website, you know, I wanted to build a space themed website. Um, a tool like Postman is really helpful to, you know, explore these APIs and then, you know, test the functionality and see what I would need to do um, to get information from my own website. Um, and, you know, there's, there's the ability to generate code. Um, so I may, if I make a pretty advanced request uh, to a NASA API and says, I want, you know, X number of pictures from these dates, um, and I only want the HD URLs, um, Postman can help us figure out how to get, you know, those exact parameters and, and the code to make that query to an API. Um, and it can convert that code into, you know, Node.js if that was what I was doing, you know, to write my website um, server-side code. Um, you know, I can, it, w another really nice thing is you can take information from one request in Postman and use it to make an ensuing request. Um, and so if I, you know, captured information on, we didn't get a chance to dig into some of the others, but if I was looking at international space station locations, I could capture that location and see if there's anything nearby using other requests as well. And I think that's time. So I'm gonna give up my, my, my time here and say thank you so much for having me, Dominique. This has been a blast. And for everyone that has other questions, feel free to get in touch with me. Yes, thank you so much. This was so informative and really, really great. And I think 
the people who are watching learned a lot. So thank you so much. Yeah, you're very welcome. Thanks for having me. Thank you. Have a good day. You too.